could an illegal immigrant land a job at Palo Verde nuclear plant? That's the question investigators are asking tonight after a man's arrested for apparently working there with a fake ID. Tonight, ABC 15's Tim Vetcher shows us how he was caught and presses for some answers on how to make sure this does not happen again. For the past two weeks, investigators say 33-year-old Cruz Alvarez came and went from the Palo Verde nuclear reactor where he worked as a subcontractor. The staff here apparently completely unaware of Alvarez's status as an illegal immigrant. He was able to uh, have access to his work station in that on that property but not inside the protected area. APS spokesperson Jim McDonald tells me Alvarez showed up on Tuesday with an expired Mexican driver's license and security turned him away. McDonald claims Alvarez returned the following day with a fake Arizona ID card. Security detained him for the sheriff's office who ultimately arrested Alvarez. How many other subjects have been going into that facility without proper identification and how many are in this country illegally? Sheriff Joe Arpaio says the arrest brings Palo Verde's safety into question. He suggests the nuclear plant isn't as guarded as it should be. I would say to the people of Arizona and our customers that Palo Verde is extraordinarily safe extremely well protected. McDonald tells me Cruz worked on an outbuilding, nowhere near the reactor itself. He says APS conducts occasional audits to make sure their contractors and subcontractors hire legal employees. Where that process broke down in this case, the utility plans to investigate. I'm Tim Vetcher, ABC 15 News.